What's going on everybody? I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Welcome back to the channel. So my mom has been living on the property with us now for a few months and spring is coming and she loves flowers. So I decided to make a few planter boxes and I figured I might as well make a video on it along the way. I wanted to do a few different styles. So there's gonna be three different styles. All of them are tiered style planters, a lot of redwood and using minimal tools, including this speed square and this circular saw, as well as drill and driver screws, things like that. I actually had to go buy these. So technically I had to buy more tools to use less tools. If that makes sense. Weird. Anyway, let's get to the build. I went to my local big box store and picked up 15 six foot redwood two by sixes, as well as 15 bags of potting soil, which turns out is a little bit too much for this project, but they'll get used on something. I really only needed about nine. With each board, I start off by trimming the end using my 12 inch carpenter square and circular saw just to make sure it's square to start with. I use redwood for all these planter boxes because it's gonna be less prone to rotting in the outdoor elements. I decided to cut the boards for all three planter bottoms at the same time because they're actually all the same measurements. So that's what I'm doing here. I don't work out of my shop that much, so doing this proved to be harder than I thought using sawhorses so you'll see me have my fair share of struggles along the way. Kind of like here where I realized using a clamp to hold the board I'm cutting to the sawhorse would make my life a lot easier. Once I had my workstation figured out, it all went pretty fast. Once I had all the boards cut, for the first planer I could start assembling it. Power Pro was nice enough to sponsor this build and I've used their screws for quite a while and I love them. They drive really nice and don't strip out the heads. When you're doing outdoor projects like this, it's very important to use exterior rated screws so they will hold up to the elements and weather and everything like that. I will leave a link to their full line of products in the description below for you guys to check out. I pre-drilled all the holes with a bit that has a built-in countersink. It worked really well. I'll leave a link to that below as well for you guys. Sometimes when driving in screws without the wood being clamped, you will notice it wants to push apart. A lot of times if you back the screw out and then drive it back in, it will close up the gap. On the bottom tiers of these planters, there are two different size boards, so you want to make sure that the shorter boards are running between the longer pieces to make it square. Once the bottom tier was done, I moved on to the second tier using the same method except this time all four boards are the same size. So after the butt joint, I spun the piece quarter turn and attached the next board butted up to that end and continued doing that until I got back around to the first board. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see what I mean in the video. I repeated that same process on the top tier. In this shot, you can kind of see what I was talking about a little bit better. When assembling the planers, I did it upside down. So I started with the small tier and then placed the second tier turned 90 degrees from the first, then attached it by drilling steep angled holes and driving in screws. This is also called toe nailing, if it was a nail. Just make sure the angle is steep enough so the screw doesn't poke out the side. I attached the bottom tier the same way, measuring just to make sure that it was centered. That's one down, two to go. I think you guys have seen me cut enough. Let's speed through these and get to the assembly. On this one, the bottom is assembled the same way as the first. The second tier is where it changes a little bit. 
I measure in six inches from the end of one of the boards and then draw a line, and then I butt up another board to that line and attach it. Then I rotated it 90 degrees and repeated the same process continuing around until it was completed. The top tier gets the same treatment. I assembled this one the same way as the first by starting with the top tier on the bottom, putting the second tier on, steep angled drill, screw in the screw, you get the idea. All right, last one. This one's probably the easier of the three. The boxes were all assembled the same way with two long boards and two short boards, and then stacked and attached with the same angled screw method. This one's a little bit different because it'll need two supports that I cut out of some two by two pieces of redwood and attached in the corners that were hanging out by themselves in the middle. Once they were all built, I could spread them around the yard and fill them all with soil. You could actually put some weed block on the bottom of these if you needed to, but I don't really think that anything's gonna come through. If it does, I will just pull it. And, or you could put chicken wire or mesh on the bottom if you're planting vegetables in these and you don't want gophers to come up through and eat your vegetables. So like I said in the beginning, I had way too much soil. I thought each one of these might take about five bags, but they actually only took three each if you're going to buy soil. So you can be more prepared than I but it'll get used on something around here for sure. I watered down the soil once it was in the planters because it usually sinks down quite a bit after you get some water on it because it's so dry in the bags and you may need to add more. I must say it was a lot better working outside than being stuck inside the shop all the time, especially in this nice weather. It was about 60 degrees, so it's pretty nice. So my plan was to get some footage of my mom and I planting these flowers, but she did it while I was at work. I guess you could say she was excited and wanted to get it done. It's probably better that way anyway. She's a lot better at arranging flowers and planters than I am, and I think they look really good. I think this one's my favorite. Which one's your guys' favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Go to my website to check out the plans for these as well as other plans I offer and everything else I got going on. I really appreciate it. Until next time, check out this video right here. We'll see you on the next build.